Hello, my friend. Welcome to TubeU China. I'm Henry. Last time, I made an extendable gear box. It can increase the torque by decreasing the speed. What does this mean? Today, I will do some experiments to explain in detail. Stick around. Let's start. This is a torque wrench. Adjust the knob in the bottom part. You can preset the value of maximum torque. When you rotate the wrench to fix a nut, for example, it will slip and emit a click sound that can be heard and felt when preset value is reached. You will never over the preset torque value when you bend the wrench. It is very useful when you fix the screws or nuts if the very precise torque is needed. Torque is a vector quantity, meaning it has both a direction and a magnitude. It is calculated by multiplying force and the distance. If the angle is equal to 90 degree, it can be measured by using a digital scale with this simple construction. If this sender is connected to a DC motor, when you apply a definite voltage, the torque can be measured and the current called a stored current because the motor is not rotating. The relationship between torque via speed and the current is linear as shown here. In constant voltage, as the load on a motor increases, the torque increases, speed will decrease. This graph represents the characteristics of a typical motor. Even the stored current and the torque can be easily measured using this method. It is very high risk to deterioration of motor parts caused by rising temperature because the motor is working in the overload condition. You can do it in the small voltage range, but do not do it in higher voltage area. If the motor can rotate, but the rotation is restricted by a friction force, the motor torque is equal to the friction torque. The ball bearing is invented to eliminate the friction torque. But of course, the friction torque exists even if it is very small. So, we can use this ball bearing to measure the small friction torque and increase the friction torque by adding a small metal plate to the fixing screw. Now, the concepts of torque, friction torque, stored current, motor speed, current and voltage and their relationship have been explained. We can do experiments to measure these values and investigate the characteristics of a DC motor. First, we will make a simple friction torque meter to measure the performance of a mini DC motor. Use fusing 360 to make all these parts. Make a torque arm with the length is 10 cm. A ball bearing 695cc is located in the center of the rotated part. A small torque head is fixed in the head of the torque arm. Make a simple stand which supports the mini DC motor, where the motor is fixed in the motor case. The torque arm is linked by a shaft with the motor. Bring them up, construct them. You will need several M3, M5 screws and nuts.
A simple metal plate is fixed with a spring, which adjusts the friction force with the ball bearing. Connect the motor to an adjustable DC power supply. A 3 ohm resistance is used to stabilize the whole circuit. The motor rotate speed is recorded using a tachometer. The whole circuit is connected according to this diagram. Now it is ready for measurements. We will measure several parameters. No load speed in different voltages. Voltage current and the weight. The calculation equation and the relationship between these parameters is listed here. Let's check if it will work or not. I use Mabuji DC130 motor for a test. The result is listed here. When the applied voltage is 1.5 volt, no load speed is 9,008 rpm, the stored current is 1.93 ampere and the torque is 2.13 mN-m. The data has fit the specification of the Mabuchi motor where my old motor is a little worse. When connecting to the fraction torque meter which uses a ball bearing as fraction force, even the fraction is small but the speed of the motor decreases very much. When increase the friction force by adjusting the metal plate, the speed decreases where the torque increase, just as we expected. This is the experimental results of speed, torque, and the current diagram. The theoretical result between speed and the torque is depicted using the green line. The experimental result is plotted using a red square dot. A linear fit is plotted using the red line. The coefficient of determination R square which represents the goodness between experimental and the theoretical is listed also, where the more R square near the 1 or 100%, the better is the experimental result, the more reliable of the experimental results. Now we have got the R square of speed versus torque 0 0.992 and the current versus torque 0 0.996, which is a very good result for our experiment. It means our experiment is reliable and trustable. The motor efficiency is very low. Now we know that the Mabuji DC motor is really not suitable for high load condition. If we want to use this motor, the gearbox is necessary. Otherwise, it is just a nice motor for motor or very small torque condition. Also, the fraction torque meter works very well. It is also a dynamometer to measure the torque and the rotational speed RPM simultaneously for motor or rotational engine. Next time I will measure the other motors, gearbox and other stuff and compare the performance of them. Please like and subscribe. That's all for today. I hope it will give you some help. Hope you'll be fine. And do me a favor, click the subscribe button. Also, leave your comments so we can know each other. I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon. Hope you have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, click on the small bell so you will not miss the update. Tell your channel is waiting for you.